co-authoring in SharePoint pages is here and it's really cool. You're gonna love this feature. Remember how you used to edit a page and you got a warning because someone else was editing it or it was locked or whatever was going on, you couldn't edit that SharePoint page. You had to go and generally go into the site pages library and you had to like back out their changes or it, it was annoying. Now that problem, it doesn't exist anymore because multiple people can edit the same page at the same time. In this video, I'm gonna break down how it works and show it in action. Let's get into it. So I'm on my SharePoint page right now. I'm logged in as myself and I can go into edit mode to start editing this page. Notice there's a new thing at the top that shows you who is currently editing the page. That'll come into, a, uh, into effect here in just a second because I'm now gonna open this on a different browser session as a Dell Vance. I'm gonna go into edit mode and you'll see a Dell, but then you just saw me pop up. And actually there is a notification that'll even come up for, uh, for a little while to let you know that there is co-authoring enabled. So both people now have this page open in edit mode. Let me move this so that we can see both windows at the same time. Okay, so both, both of them are open on the same page. Let me on my account show you what's gonna happen if I add in, let me add in that new flexible section. If you haven't seen this one, it's incredible. Check a few videos ago and you'll find my flexible sections video. This is, this is a game changer. So I've got the flexible section. Let me drag a text web part on here and notice on Adele's screen, she already has this section and you'll even see the text box that I put in here with my, my, uh, my picture over it. And if you hover over it, my name to show Adele that someone is currently editing this web part but you're seeing these updates happen almost instantaneously. I believe that's using Fluid Framework, the same thing that Loop uses for its collaborative and, and synchronization behavior. So if I uh, type in some text here, I'll be real creative. Uh, here is some text. So you'll see that and you'll see the little uh, progress indicator showing that I'm making changes to this. If Adele wants to make changes to this as well, looks like I don't have a cursor. And if you go to the properties window, there's there's nothing, there's nothing you can do on this because it's, okay, now it kind of released the lock on the web part. So you're seeing a bit of a, there is a little bit of a, um, a locking type behavior still because two people can't edit the same web part at the same time. You can edit, other web parts and even even in the same section you could edit other web parts in the same page but you can't do the same web part at the same time now there is some opportunity for some evil some mischief which is like my thing okay because here's what i can do so let's let's go back to my account and um i'll make some more changes here now here's what i can do as Adele, I can move that web part around, even though I can't necessarily change it because it's still kind of locked on my account, on my session, but I can move this thing around. So now let's suppose, um, let's just delete this, and now it's locked for me. Here's what I could do as well. Hit the delete button, now it's gone for Adele. So there's some real good opportunities to mess with your colleagues and coworkers uh, because unless they happen to notice that there's two people in this document, the same is actually, you see the same thing in Word and Excel and some of the other Office products, they've had this for a while, but it just came to SharePoint Pages recently. So unless they happen to notice that, um, they might be a little bit confused. And yeah, yeah, this, this is something I'm gonna have a lot of fun with. So let's just uh, go back to just seeing it on my screen now. So you've seen you can add sections and it's it shows up immediately for everyone else. You can add additional web parts. I can drop an image in here and set this to, we'll set this to the cloud scene. 
Now, here's some of the other things about this. Now, with two people in here, if Adele tries to republish this, it's going to give her a warning that, hey, other people are working on this as well. If you try and publish this page, you could be publishing stuff that isn't quite ready yet because it's still being worked on by someone else at the same time. So it does give you a warning. It still lets you do it. So you may end up publishing a page with an unconfigured web parts or, or things like that. So you could end up with uh, kind of a mess to try and clean up with, uh, with, but at least it gives you the option. Now, if I were to do that on my side, okay, it is showing it for me as well. Uh, I've seen where this doesn't necessarily come up. So there may be, it may be something about how, how it's detecting what the person is doing in the session, maybe. I'm not sure. So you, you just note that you should be getting this dialogue anytime you're trying to publish a page where there are multiple simultaneous sessions. But what you can do is you could hit save and close because that's not going to publish the page. It's just going to save your changes and back you out of edit mode. That way over here, Adele can continue to make those edits on the pages. Um, and now, you know, you notice my picture is gone now because I'm not in edit mode. There is no co-authoring. It's just, you know, the way it used to be. She's the only one editing pages until someone else hits that edit button and then joins with this co-authoring session. So this is a really, really good quality of life feature. I, I can't count the number of times that I've had to explain to someone what's happening when it when SharePoint's blocking them from going in and editing a page. Um, it's It's been a nuisance for a long time, and it's so nice to see that this has been fixed once and for all with some really cool technology. Co-authoring is going to give you the ability to work in, in collaboration with someone else. It could be around the world, could be on the other side of the world, but you'll be able to kind of tag team on a web page, on a, on a site page anyway, and get content created, work on it on the phone as well as here without having to do a screen share, without having to make one person the driver. Uh, both of you can start making changes and you can bust out site, SharePoint site pages in no time. It's an incredible feature. Let me know in the comments what you think of this. Is this something you've already noticed or is this something you didn't know yet? Let me know. Let's talk about what you think uh, of this feature and how you're going to be using it. And if you want to see more great SharePoint videos like this, then just click or tap the screen and I'll see you over there.